Hi folks, welcome to your latest planning outlook this updated on Tuesday the 25th of August. Some wild weather out there at the moment, things becoming quieter as we go onwards toward the weekend as pressure begins to build, but we've got some rather chilly air that will dominate as northerly winds prevail in the latter part of this week. Now, Tuesday's weather system drags itself away eastwards overnight into Wednesday. The winds will still be strong first thing, but tending to ease down as we go through the day. There will be a few areas of showers around, but also some drier and brighter periods too. A chilly feeling day, particularly where you're exposed to that north northwesterly wind. Here's your rainfall sequence in three hour steps, the accumulations up until the time shown, and it shows the overnight rain still hanging around but breaking up a bit as time goes on. Still, though, the leftovers of some rain likely across the eastern side of Scotland, around the borders of the Cheviots, also into the eastern side of the Pennines first thing on Wednesday morning. That will break up and clear. Then one or two showers around, a mainly dry day for many places, but a scattering of showers popping up uh, mainly across some Pennine areas through into the afternoon and just one or two across central and southern Scotland. Might be a little cluster that comes across from Northern Ireland to the western side of the lakes very late on in the day. Heading onwards into Thursday and it's quite a messy situation by then as the leftovers of bits of fronts and showers are still in play. So some places for Thursday will see some frequent rain uh, may well develop a bit more widely into areas of showers and some longer spells of rain for some in the afternoon. But with lighter winds by this stage, it's going to be a hit and miss story of what you get. And some places may end up being largely dry for a good part of the day. And there's the messy chart responsible for Thursday's weather. We've got a bit of a tangle of fronts around. One system may just miss the far south of Wales as it skirts across southwest England. Another feature just across northern England could be responsible for some more frequent or persistent rain and some heavier bursts in there around the lakes and the Pennines. Slacker pressure over Scotland may just be one or two showers around here. Generally light winds, but just watch out for some easterlies strengthening as time goes on on Thursday and temperatures will be distinctly cool. And that cool theme will continue into Friday and the weekend as well as northerly winds prevail. Temperatures on the highest tops in Scotland, particularly in the mornings, will be around freezing point, lifting a bit during the daytimes. And the risk of some overnight frost in some of the glens and the valleys, particularly in Scotland, where skies are clear overnight. Friday's situation brings some showers, though is most frequent across northern and eastern parts of the highlands where there'll be of some sleet, maybe some snow on the very highest tops around the Cairngorm Plateau, but a hail mixed in occasionally, and a few showers or some more frequent rain at times drifting in across the eastern side of the Pennines on a brisk north northeasterly wind, and a scattering of showers passing further westwards with time, with the driest of the conditions best of the cloud breaks typically toward western Scotland and West Wales. Pressure begins to build as we go into Saturday. Still a few showers around, those most frequent across northern parts of the Cairngorms, and a few may just run into the eastern side of the Pennines and the Cheviots off the North Sea, and some will develop in the afternoon as well, just running down the spine of the Pennines. Pretty well scattered, many places often dry with some good amounts of sunshine, cloud breaking towards higher slopes, and with the north of the airflow, the air very clear away from any low cloud. A distinctly chilly feeling day, northern Scotland particularly in the firing line for that chilly north of the air. Temperatures tending to rise a bit during the day at their highest around the southwestern parts of the highlands. Might just be a degree or so higher into Sunday as we just lose the direct northerly flow, high pressure toppling in from the west. Still one or two dregs of showers may just be around, but a lot of dry weather too. Cloud breaks to higher slopes and some sunshine to be found. Again, we stay in that clear air. Temperatures, as mentioned, on the cool side, starting chilly, particularly in the valleys first thing in the morning. Touch of frost again remains likely. So a pretty good looking weekend in many respects, if you can put up with the chilly temperatures, it's a fairly quiet weather pattern. Into the start of next week, we may just start to deteriorate things again as fronts from the Atlantic start to push their way back in. There's uncertainty how soon this happens. It might be that we get away with Monday still under fairly high pressure and quiet conditions, but just watching for things starting to push their way in from the west with time. Now that uh, incoming front and area of low pressure shows some signs of drifting a little bit further south and southwestwards across Britain. It might leave Scotland relatively unscathed, but the idea of fairly low pressure being around into early next week is believable with some areas of showers or some rain in the forecast at times. Temperatures still staying on the cool side, I would have thought. It may be that eventually higher pressure around Scandinavia begins to build and the wind flow turns into more of an easterly as we head towards midweek. 
So prepare yourself for rather chilly conditions towards this weekend. Stay up to date with all our content on the website and our social media feeds as well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.